So the metaverse is the final destination of the web 3.0 technology. So uh, the web is uh, virtualizing, uh, technologies converging, AI, blockchain, IoT, satellite connections, all that is getting like a hybrid. Uh, then you have to take those assets and bring into the metaverse. The metaverse is a blockchain structure where you have to mint the access through NFTs, then you're going to locate on the metaverse. And what we're doing now is, is actually populating that metaverse with assets, right? So those uh, we started with art by doing NFTs on art. Uh, we are starting to go into other utilities like IoT objects on the metaverse and uh, the decision that we are taking here which has been also presented yesterday and it was already announced last year is to create a uh, entry the gate through Gibraltar La Linea fourth industrial revolution hub into the metaverse so you're gonna have a, a gate where companies will be able to bring uh, assets into the metaverse and create one of the most trusted and secure metaverse available on the internet and uh, as I understand it, this is the only one so far created in Europe. Yes. So why Gibraltar and La Linea? I think Gibraltar and La Linea has a huge complementarity. I mean, there are also personal reasons because we, we burn here, in, we burn in La Linea, and we have a strong um, relations with Gibraltar, and also we have Gibraltar families and they are working in this project. But, but it's also because uh, the complementarity of the offering. I mean, you have Evolve as a major blockchain hub in Gibraltar. You have Evolve also as one of the uh, gaming hub, internet gaming, all those assets are very important to the metaverse because you need to bring that expertise to the metaverse. La Linea as being still Europe uh, is actually an entry point for all the uh, European Union. Uh, investment is being done now in uh, satellite technology and also in technology that are going to be re related to uh, providing dependency on microchips, which is products and services and Wiseki develops. Uh, so in that thinking, the idea was to localize part of your capabilities of manufacturing those products in La Linea. So you will have the extension potentially of uh, land available in La Linea to do this kind of manufacturing, while in Gibraltar you develop services, which is a service society, into the metaverse, and combinedly you create a very unique offering. Fossil Systems is a startup dedicated to manufacturing Pico satellites. These are satellites that are much cheaper and much smaller than traditional satellites for IoT connectivity. So we've partnered with WiseKey within the context of this uh, fourth industrial revolution to design a very secure satellite using PKI technologies uh, that have just been launched to space. We just launched two of them into low Earth orbit. And this sort of exemplifies one of, uh, one of the projects which could be carried out within this fourth uh, industrial revolution center. So we're one of the first business is to have actually installed ourselves uh, in the linea we have a ground station which we just uh, installed a couple of months ago and are operating the satellites on a daily basis but obviously this is a decentralized infra infrastructure and we've uh, we've launched these satellites on behalf of this uh, of this project now this uh, company has some real grassroots doesn't it because you all started off as uh, as graduates uh, working out of an apartment uh, and uh, and now you're launching satellites. Yeah, that, that's correct. Uh, the startup actually uh, was uh, was created on on Reddit on an online uh, forum, and uh, off of this, you know, we grew the business model. We're now 20 employees. We're mainly based in Madrid, but obviously we're looking to expand the United States, possibly Gibraltar and other areas throughout the world. Uh, and it really started off as a very humble, uh, you know, apartment-like, garage-like project, and it's grown now over a million in revenues in the past year. Uh, so it starts to professionalize itself, and it also goes to show that all of these companies could start in a future based off offline uh, decentralized uh, systems like Reddit or like online forums or even the metaverse.